Hey! Welcome to Cameron and Kyle Game Reviews. Today, we'll be reviewing a game called Ninja Gaiden. I myself really love the game, and Kyle... He's not here right now. He's really scared because, well, it's too hard for him. But I have a plan. See, I've disguised it as the rare cartridge known as Nintendo Campus Challenge. See, since he loves rare games, he'll, he'll come right in here. Let's start it. <laughs> come on, Kyle. Come in here and play the game with me. Oh, it's too hard. Huh. If that's the way you want it, I guess I'm just going to have to do this review by myself. <gasps> what is this? What? It's an oh so rare and very valuable Nintendo Campus Challenge! What? what? Ah! Get off! Ah! <laughs> Play the game, Kyle. I will never play this game! Kyle, one person can't finish Ninja Gaiden on his own. You have to do it. For the sake of gamers everywhere! Let's do this thing. Yeah! But first we need to clean off all that Nintendo Campus Challenge gunk. Yeah. Alright, let's play this. The story of Ninja Gaiden revolves around a ninja named Ryu who was sent to America by his recently missing father to defeat an evil cult leader who plans to combine two demon statues with the power to destroy the world. This gripping plot was backed up by fast-paced gameplay, amazing cutscenes, and similarities to other games of its kind, like Castlevania, which I don't know whether or not it's coincidental, but I'm not the programmer, so what are you gonna do? Oh! This game was really hard for 1989. And many people couldn't even pass the first level boss, unless you were a skilled gamer. And as far as I know, there's not really any helpful game genie codes because, well, I don't know. The game's just that hard that there's no game genie codes. Now, now we'll be talking about the game genie later, so you, you wonder, so... There's your answer to the question if we're going to back up our question about that. Yeah. So, the first boss is kind of tough, but if you're not a skilled gamer, I don't know if you could get past it. One enemy I really hate is these little bouncy boxer guys. They're so annoying. Every time you jump or get hit, they just keep hitting you. You have no recovery time for these dudes. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, first level boss. It's pretty easy when you notice the pattern, and he's pretty easy to defeat when you start ducking under his machete and start slashing him with your sword. He kind of reminds me of a hockey or football player with a machete. Kind of like Jason Voorhees. Sort of. So here's an example of an amazing cutscene that Ninja Gaiden has provided. Now, when these cutscenes came on, it was sort of like watching a movie. And back in the back in the 1980s, this must have been really impressive. No one had ever seen um, a movie inside of a game before. It was really interesting. 
But it's not really compared to today's cutscenes. It may not seem like anything special today. But still, this is an awesome game, especially because of its cutscenes. So in this cutscene, Cameron, what happens in this cutscene? Tell the viewers. I think I think that he got taken to this some um, some sort of jail. It looks like. Yeah. More gameplay. Come on, come on, come on, take it down. Yeah. God, God, it's those boxer guys again. Stop it. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing good. No! Come on. Look out! Oh, that was close. Oh, come on! Jeez. This game is actually, as you can see, really, really hard. I mean, look at these jumps. They may not be that hard. It doesn't. It may not seem that hard, but once you actually try and play it, it's almost unplayable. By the way, it's pretty cheery death music, isn't it? Listen. It, it's like it's like a bunch of like high notes with. It, it sounds. Happy, almost. I don't know if you agree, but hey, that's just my opinion. Uh, man, adrenaline pumping. Ah, come on, make the jump. Oh, never mind. Come on, yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't take it! Kyle, drop in for me. By the way, Stage 2-2 has some really catchy music. I mean, listen. That wasn't the catchy music. But listen to this. <laughs> it's the Ninja Gaiden dance. So this is the second level boss. He's got this thing, he's got like this sling that he swings around. I couldn't beat him the first couple times, but then I realized I just have to duck under him like the first boss. That makes him really easy. By the way, how come when you defeat the bosses, they explode? Anyway, time for another cutscene. As I grew more and more suspicious, I went off to look for that supposed acquaintance of my father's, Mr. Smith. Act 3. Who is it? You must be Walter Smith. The name's Ryu. Ryu Hab Habusa, whatever. Who? That sword. Of course, you must be Ken... Hayabasa's son. In his last letter, my father told me I should see you. Last letter? I see. So, alright, I'm getting bored. On to the gameplay. Yeah, on to the game. Woo! This is where the game starts getting really, really hard. At least for you. <laughs> Come on, Cameron, you know this game is hard. Yes. Ugh. I'm sick of game overs! Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Gotta persevere. I see why Cameron freaked out like a psycho back there. In this stage, there's a 
barrage of enemies coming at you. I especially hate these birds. They, they're like heat-seeking missiles. And, and a bunch of places along this level, you have a series of small platforms to jump on to evade some, some of these flying hawks. So, you gotta time your jumps perfectly, like me. Yes, Cameron is a master of timing things. Mm -hmm. I hate those guys in white robes that throw hammers at you or whatever they are. They might be swords. It's they're kind of like the Hammer Brothers in Super Mario Brothers, which is really weird because this game's already kind of looking like Castlevania. Now it has to look like Mario Bros. But it's not like it's like. But it's not like it's, like, blatantly ripping off. I mean, there are definitely other games that have ripped off games like Mario. Yeah. Whoa, look out! Oh, oh, come on! You made me grab onto the low ledge. Okay, so here's the level 3 boss. Now, this one gets a bit harder because he jumps around. And he shoots these little bullet things, which are hard to dodge unless you attack them with your sword. And just because you died on the boss, you have to go all the way back to level 3-2, which sucks. I mean, even in Super Mario Brothers, they let you continue from the boss level. At least until you've lost all your lives. But there are, of course, some useful weapons. Like, of course, the shuriken. Come on, Cameron. Get past that boss! <clears throat> you stand in this one spot, keep slashing at him. When he shoots the things, you gotta turn around and slash them and just, like, rinse and repeat. I'm gonna beat the boss! Yeah! On to the next level. Another one of these cutscenes. These cutscenes are really amazing. Ah! Flashing! Ah! Uh, Caesars! Ryu, the light demon statue, was taken. The light statue? Yes. Your father and I, we each kept one of the statues, just in case. So that the two statues would never... You know what, let's just go on to the gameplay. Yeah. Oh, there's that music again. Now, level 4-1 is where the game starts getting really ridiculously hard. This time you're in a jungle in South America, or a rainforest. And, and, and you gotta jump on these, once again, little platforms to prevent yourself from falling into this quicksand pool. Now, I just have one question. Ha why are there platforms inside of a jungle? I mean, I know, of course, this is a video game, but come on, why, why would there just be platforms in a jungle? Well, then again, this is Ninja Gaiden. Anything can happen. Mm hmm Like that screen back there having absolutely nothing on it except a ladder. And Ryu climbing it. Oh, now this next cutscene is awesome. This is when you know that the game just got epic. Yeah. When Ryu is up in front of the camera in the foreground and the castle's in the background, you know this is when the game's gonna go super hard on you. Yeah. I mean, just look at it. You, you, you're just thinking, I, I'm going to die so many times. Here you encounter a new set of enemies, like these green ninjas and demon uh, and demons wielding sickles. Some of the enemies here are still the same, like the bats and and the hawks. But this is when the game gets really hard. It all starts on world four two. I've gotten I've only gotten past here on two occasions, and it took me a while. And this is when the game really starts to, to get at you. There's so many hazards, especially the nightmare of a boss that I'm about to show you.